morning guys. I am in London today. I'm gonna to take my shades off. I always think it's rude when people talk to you with sunglasses on because I feel like I always want to make eye contact. So I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm in central London. I've got a meeting with my management today. We're going over a lot of different things which I might debrief you after the meeting about what we spoke about. Hang on a sec, I'm gonna get hit by a bike. Um, but yeah, last time I was in central London, it was for Pride. It was my first ever London Pride event, or first ever Pride event at all. And I was invited to this hotel um, called The Dilly, which is at Piccadilly Circus, by Pride in London, the people that organized the event. And they said, come up to the terrace, you can watch the parade from the terrace with some champagne and stuff. Oh, how British, post box, flag. Nice building, lovely. Um, sorry if you can't hear me, I forgot to put my muffler on so you might hear the wind. But yeah, it was just such a lovely day and I got to see the parade. It was quite emotional actually seeing all the, like, the love and acceptance of all these people marching. You had like gay Muslims marching, gay Christians marching, you had families, LGBTQ plus families marching, you had rugby players marching, you had like every type of person ever um, and it was just so great to see. I know in previous years YouTube had a float. They, I remember at one stage they even had a double decker bus with the YouTube branding all over it and they invited some LGBTQ plus YouTubers to like be on top of the bus in the parade waving at everyone and just having fun. I didn't see them this year and I, I don't think they did it but it would have been lovely to be involved with the YouTube float. So hopefully they do it again another time and I can join them. So right here on the corner as you can see Gymshark are opening their first first ever store and I thought it might already be open but it's not but if you don't know anything about them they're an athletic wear brand and they are uh, they're traditionally just online only but they're opening their first ever physical store oh and they've still got the rainbow flag up oh wow look at it they've got loads and that way too lovely Oxford Street is never this quiet it's still, it's nearly, well, it's quarter past nine. I thought the shops would be open by now. My manager sent me a message on the way here to say, any requests for coffee, pastries, food, items? So I've asked for a flat white with oat milk and uh, any pastries. I was like, I'm not fussy when it comes to sugary items. I'll eat anything, so any pastry is fine by me. has finished it was over two hours which was really long but really really good really helpful we chatted through a whole load of things like strategy things moving forward brand work loads of things the ultimate goal ultimate dream anyway so I'm gonna have a little think before I head back to Ava and crack on with the rest of my day I'm gonna decompress and I've got some lunch so I went to Pret I got chicken pesto wrap some tortilla chips and a diet coke so <sighs> Let's have lunch. This is Editor Joel. Just to say, if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, please click subscribe. It's free and I post videos every single week and you won't regret it and you'll get loads of good luck if you click subscribe. So try it. Hey guys, so I've just come into town to go shopping for Leah's birthday. Here's a little flashback. Right, I've come into Tiger, or I think it's called Flying Tiger. Hmm. The trouble is, I only want to get her something, a few small bits, because I'm going to get her a bigger present. Um, but then I know Leah doesn't like tap, so there's no point getting like jokey gifts because she'll just be like, haha, but then throw it away. So, yeah, this is quite hard. She does love Greg's, so I could get her a bean and cheese melt from there or a sausage roll. Ooh, I'm going to go to Oliver Bonas at the end because they've got some nice stuff. Maybe I could get her a candle or something. Here we go. Oh, but there's always nice things in here. I love crystal glass decanters like that. Could get her a stool. These are nice. Oh my gosh, if Leah drank coffee, I would get her those. Like little espresso cups, but she doesn't drink coffee. Uh, this is cute. So it's a Prosecco cocktail recipe book. That is a potential possibility. Basically, it was Leah's birthday yesterday and she's coming to London today to hang out with me and Christy and we're gonna go to Soho House to a rooftop where there's a pool and everything and we're just gonna have a bougie afternoon. Who knows where the day might take us. But yeah, I was gonna show you what I got Leah, but <laughs> I can't because they've gift wrapped it. So I got Leah 
Uh, firstly, a birthday card that says, Happy Birthday Grandma. It was a grandma birthday card because I thought, haha, I'm so funny. And then I got her some of these twisty candles. There's like four of them and they just look really nice. Um, and then I bought her, bought her that Prosecco cocktail recipe book. So yeah, hopefully that'll be a little nice thing for her to open today. I'm also going to get her an experience. Like we usually, me and Leah usually do birthday experiences together. Like Leah's bought me a chocolate course before that we did together. Last year for her birthday, I bought us both a floating experience and a sensory deprivation tank. I've got an idea for this year, but I just need to check dates with her today when she's free to come to London and have a day out with me. So yeah, this is just little bits for her to open. I have got my gym kit on because I was going to go to the gym, but I don't think I am now. Even though I've still got three hours and until I meet them. I panicked this morning, so I was like, I need to get Leah something to open. I left home really early, even though I'm not meeting them now, for another three hours. I could have gone to the gym, but I didn't pack spare underwear, I forgot, so I'm not gonna turn up in sweaty underwear, so I might just find a coffee shop and read my book. They seem to be filming something here in the middle of the station in the middle of the daytime. So guys, on the train, I just read an article about signs that you're actually a very intelligent person and one of them is that you spend a lot of time alone and you make very little time for socialising and I know I'm on my way to socialise now <laughs> but you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I don't really socialise. I've mentioned it in my Q&A videos and stuff where I don't really tend to make much effort with my friends which is not deliberate, I just don't... I guess I feel like I'm bothering them if I do and also like I've noticed friends of mine, they'll have friends that they're texting all the time and they'll send things and I'll be like, oh, who are you texting? And they're like, oh, I'm just sending this meme to my friend, I'm sending this and them. I don't have that. Like my text with friends tend to be practical and like, hi, let's meet here at this location or like I don't, I'm never texting people. I don't text people. Do you know what I mean? It's very weird. Um, I'm very weird, not them. I think that that's normal. But anyway, this article said that it was a sign that I'm very intelligent, um, <laughs> which I don't think is true, but I'm gonna tell everyone now that I'm, is because I'm intelligent. Anyway, I'm listening to Six the Musical. I've come to the National. I'm gonna go inside and go to the cafe there, treat myself to a little cake. The second best thing about the National, other than their cakes, <laughs> is their theatre bookshop with all of these amazing plays. Well, that was lovely. Annoyingly, I didn't bring my laptop. I didn't bring my magazines. Normally, I have my laptop, magazines, and a book, and I took everything out my bag and just put my book in there, but it did mean that I finished it. So, um, that's good. I finished my book, changed my T-shirt. I'm gonna meet Christy now on Waterloo Bridge, and then we're gonna walk over together, and Leah is gonna be the last to arrive, I think. But before I see Christy, I'm just making my way over to this book stand under Waterloo Bridge. It's second-hand books. They have some antique ones as well. Let's just have a look. Look at these ones. They're all old. Love it. I know technically it's such an ugly building, but I love it, but I think it's because, I think it's because when I first moved to London, before I even moved to London, my school and college would bring me here for shows, and um, it's always been my dream to perform at the National Theatre. There's three theatres inside, and it's really lovely inside, but it's been voted like the ugliest building so many years in a row, um, but I just really like it. I now, I guess when I look at the outside, I now see the inside when I look at it. So to me, it's a really magical place, but I can totally understand that it is very ugly, but I love it. We love sharing live locations. So Leah is north of the river. She's arrived at Euston. Christy is very near me. She's walking towards me now, and we're meeting just here on the river. So Leah's getting the tube, I think, and me and Christy are gonna walk but she's getting closer and closer. There she is! Hello! Hi! Hi. Hi. It's Chris, is this so Hi. Long? Hi. How are you? Right, here we are. Okay, we're in this place called Isola. Yeah. Isola. And it's in just off Oxford Street. <laughs> Christy's gone for a knocky, she's only doing it. I've gone for yeah. carbonara. Lovely. Charles gone for pizza, but no tomato base. I didn't realise that. Wow. But have you had a nice day? Had a lovely birthday. Yeah. It's been 
Well, yeah, we have, haven't we? Well, you have, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's kind of a lovely time, really. Yeah. Perfect day out with the girls. Perfect yeah, day with the girls. <laughs> right, we've just left. Huh? I'm exhausted. She's exhausted. It's made me really tired. Hasn't it? Really tired. Right, Christy's looking to spend her voucher for I've Selfridges. Got, I've got a voucher oh. for Christmas. Yeah. 100 quid to Whoa. spend. And I'm really hoping, so I'm going on a, a hiking trip next week, a yeah. big hiking trip. And so I'm hoping that they have like an outdoor wear brand or a hiking brand. Maybe I can get some bougie hiking wear. Yeah, that would Defos. be cool. I'm sure they do. They've got everything. Yeah, because I don't need anything like actually. I don't need nice clothes. I just no. need hiking clothes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, fingers crossed. Well, we'll see. And I'm just going for moral support. Yeah, moral yeah. support. And, a, and a sit down. I want a sit down. <laughs> and then on the train home, I'm thinking to close my eyes and set an alarm. I thought you were going to say, I'm thinking tequila. I was like, <laughs> oh wow. I'm thinking tequila. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Mum and I are at the New Forest Show, which we come to every year before COVID. So the last time he came was in 2019. So we're so excited to be coming to the show today and I feel very embarrassed that I'm vlogging. I've come to like a quiet place next to some diggers but everyone can still see me. Uh, they're like, what is he doing? Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some food, we're gonna see some agricultural things, some animals, buy some clothes maybe. Um, but yeah, I'll take you along. Oh, look, there's a Great British Chippy right next to an American breakfast place. That's like the theme of mine and Leah's channel in a, in a nutshell. It's a little Ava. I know, I should have brought Ava. These are cool. I was wondering if they had a cool little sign to go up, but not really. Look at this Jubilee bench. It says Queen Elizabeth of Platinum Jubilee, and it's got the crest. So, as part of the show, they also have competitions. So, this is the bake and cake tent where people are competing to bake the best loaf of bread. You can see the rosettes, these are the best brownies. There's also plants and things and flowers, isn't there, later on, like who's grown the best vegetables and. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cheese straws. You can see where the judges have taken a bite out of the cakes. <laughs> no, that's a bit embarrassing. They are, they're judging all the honeycomb. Just gotten ourselves a coffee, yeah, should we get a lid? Cool. Yeah. It's always confusing of what to do first, so we figured first stop can be coffee stop. And we've had a little look around some of the tents, but... Mum was wise and had breakfast this morning and I thought I don't need breakfast because I never normally have it but now I'm like, oh actually, we could do it with a little snack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of these. Strawberries, Pims and Prosecco. We've actually stumbled across a proper coffee van. We went to like a sausage and um, a sausage place that sells food because we didn't realize they actually do proper coffee places so we might get another one here's a demonstration of some axemen and axe you just take those little bits of information and eventually you become one of the top guns so i was just filming these axemen as you saw and look who i bumped into brogan and benji this is so weird what a small world oh my gosh we've known each other been friends for like three years yeah yeah we've never met i know in person and then suddenly it was like joel joel's like you i'm just like that's joel like what a small world not many people vlogging he's like the only two vloggers at the new pro show that's us oh you can watch my video you can watch this exactly brogan's will be probably more detailed and better quality but so hey, I love your vlogs. <laughs> I love yours. Nice to see you. You too. This is nice. They grow this every year for the New Forest Show. I'd like a wildflower garden. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? I used to be absolutely beautiful. I love all the different colours. Yeah. So nice. It must be the only green grass here as well because all the grass in England has died because of the heat wave. This is more like it. Yeah, custard donut. Look at the chocolate king stuffed cream at the back. Um, more bread. Oh, they look incredible. Um, 
There's so many good things here, so we're gonna come back for lunch. Oh, mum's getting hot. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna come back, get scotch eggs, pies, all sorts, and we're gonna take dad home some, because dad normally comes with, well, not normally, but dad sometimes comes with us, and uh, he loves the pies, so we're gonna have to get him some. Me and mum are gonna share this. When I say share, mum will have a bite, and I probably will eat most of it. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Good? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I needed. Is it? Jam, well custard, pastry, icing. Delicious. Mm. <laughs> Antiques. That's quite like a green one. Yeah. Cute little shed. Looks like something from Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit. Always wanted to get some artwork, and I like the countryside scenes, they're really cute. Ooh, that's a nice dog bed. Oh, I love bougie dog beds. Ava's already got about four dog beds between multiple different houses, so I don't think she needs another. Look, it's another Ava. We've seen so many Avas. Yeah, Brogan and Benji bought Bonnie, their dog Bonnie, some leads, a new lead and collar. I don't think this was the one, but we'll have a look. The baskets remind me of one day I want to have chickens again and to have a basket like one of these to collect eggs every morning. Walk down to the chicken coop, collect all the eggs. My mum had one of these. What and, for? Um, it's just a shopping basket. Oh, really? And apparently Jan did as well. Oh, that's really <laughs> they're cute. They're very trendy. Yeah, they're trendy again now, aren't they? Mm. So I've got one of these hampers. Oh, they have ones like that. Yes. Lovely. I was just saying I've got one of these. Mum and it was Nan's, wasn't it? Yeah. Mum and Dad have never used it, so they gave it to me. But I've not used it yet. But I'm going to use it soon. I think I'm going to. I don't think she would wear a harn. Well, she would wear it, but I don't know if I need one. But this is a poop bag holder. This is the lead. They don't seem to have a collar. This is the one Brogan got. Um, Bonnie. It's a lovely purple one with daisies. Yeah, let's ask them if they've got the collar to match this. Yeah, that's nice. And people will know that she's a girl dog. It won't match that no. They've got the lead. So I went for a different colour in the end because they didn't have the matching collar. So I've gone for this in a lead collar and a poo bag pouch. It was £27 for the three of them, which I thought was quite good. Yeah. Oh, so nice. So we just stopped to try a rhubarb liqueur and it worked. The free sample worked. We loved it. Mum's got a large, I've got a medium. That was really nice. I didn't think, I, when they beckoned us over, I was like, oh no, here we go. But it was so good. It was delicious. Well, if yeah. you love rhubarb, it's nothing yeah. not to like. It's really lovely. Really nice. <laughs> right, we're off to the cattle tent now to look at some cows. See it does. So to make sure I get it right. The next day just have to go to the top of the class. It's all in their own right. The suit that my husband can work. Thank you, Ben, and well done to all three of you. We're going to see all three of those heads in the year, We've just bought some cherry tomatoes and we've got some strawberries for for afterwards. Mm -hmm. Here's our lunch, except the liqueur. <laughs> this was a cheese and Wensleydale pork pie. Oh. 
Get away. <laughs> Tomatoes and strawberries. And there's a show going on over here, but not sure what's happening. We found the rabbit tent. Yay. It's a beautiful colour. Hello. Yeah, these ones I think they're Netherland dwarfs and they're quite aggressive. <laughs> they're funny, tiny ears. I had a dwarf lop rabbit once that mum bought me for my birthday because she saw him. She just went into the pet shop to get me stuff for my guinea pigs, didn't you? And then you came out with the rabbit. I did. <laughs> he was just too endearing. Yeah. <laughs> He was called Sooty and he was the best, he was so tame. He just ran up to the side of the cage when you stood in the queue to say hello. And how could you resist him? I know. Especially when you loved him. So I know. And he looks like these, didn't he, with the floppy ears. He did. Um, he but he was grey. a grey chinchilla colour. Mm. The challenge now is to find the car. <laughs> we did remember, they've labelled them quite well, so I think we're headed in the right direction, but you never know. Also, yeah. we didn't hear any dogs being trapped in cars. No, normally they're giving out announcements, aren't they? Yeah, and everyone always starts tutting and going, oh, how awful, like yeah. we do, because it is ridiculous that people still don't realise that you can't put dogs in cars. I haven't heard that once. I haven't though. heard it, no. no. Well, that's good. We are actually now just going to drive into Southampton to the Apple store because yesterday night my laptop broke, the screen started going mm. and obviously I need a laptop in order to do work so I've got to go and buy a new one which is annoying but never mind. Here we are, D3. Oh perfect. Morning everyone, it is the next day and I'm back in London and I'm out of the house super early. I woke up at 6.45 this morning, which is very early to me. That's ungodly because I've got a YouTube event. It's my first in-person YouTube event since 2019. So I, it feels very surreal and I'm so excited. Obviously we've had lots of uh, like Zoom YouTube events and things, but this is the first in-person one. So I feel like I'm going to be very socially awkward. I mean, more socially awkward than normal. <laughs> so it starts at 12 um, and we're going to YouTube offices and we're gonna have lunch with all the other youtubers that have been invited and everything and sort of get to know people but anyway the reason I'm up so early is because we are meeting Diane Jennings today which is so exciting I'm sure lots of you know who she is if not you will find out she's an Irish girl who does a similar type of videos to Leah and I like responding and reacting to American things and uh, we've been internet friends for a while, but we've never met in person. So yesterday I met Brogan, today I'm meeting Diane. So me and Leah are meeting at Diane's hotel. We're gonna film a bunch of videos together and then go to the event together. Oh, and that's the other thing. Today is a nightmare. Today's the worst day to be getting a train anywhere because there's this train strike. So hoping I'll be able to get there on time. Oh, Wait, flat white. Lovely. Why is today? I was like, thanks for speed. Oh. They're in such a sour mood. They are in a sour mood. Right, that is today done. That was so good. Sorry I didn't film any of it. It's because um, I did vlog some of it, as I said, for the John Lear members. It was mainly like a meet and greet, had a tour of the Google offices, went up to the terrace at the top and had lots of free food and free drink, which was lovely. Um, but we also had about a 30 minute feedback session where YouTube wanted feedback on a certain campaign they're launching. Um, and so we were doing that, which was really good. Anyway, Leah and Diane have now gone for dinner and drinks and I am just heading off to the gym and just so that I can get home a bit earlier um, because I'm traveling up north tomorrow. Um, so I need to get back and pack for that. But yeah, really good day. Gym is done. That was really fun. Oh, I'm lifting heavier and heavier and I just feel very proud of my progress. Um, I do, however, need to get my diet under control because I would like to, as much as I'm building muscle, which is great, I do need to like trim down a little bit and get rid of some fat. So, and I find that really tough just eating a protein bar because I can't stop eating but anyway things like this will keep me trim because let me tell you what's happened guys you won't believe this as I told you at the start of this video there's a train strike but it wasn't the tube or as far as I'm aware it wasn't the tube this morning I got the tube into into London to meet Leah and Diane finished it at the gym went to get on the tube and they said no tubes are going 
to where I live due to strike action, which I was like, I didn't think it was including the tube. But anyway, so all I could do was get a tube halfway home. Um, so I'm now walking home. It's gonna take me about an hour and 30 minutes. I obviously could get a bus, but the buses are rammed. Every single public transport is rammed. The roads are rammed and I refuse to pay for an Uber home. And this is good cardio, isn't it? So I probably won't get home until eight. It's, it's half six at the moment. And I need dinner, um, but I probably won't be able to resist. So I'll probably call and get a sandwich from the shops. But see, this is why I, I don't lose weight because I burn the calories and then I eat it. But such is life. Anyway, I do enjoy this walk home, but I'm just not wearing the right shoes today. Um, these do give me blisters, so that's gonna be painful. It is threatening to rain as well, so I really, really hope it doesn't. But these houses are very pretty, so silver lining. And I should probably say to preempt the comments, the reason I didn't drive, because yes, I know I do have a car, is because driving in central London, A, takes an eternity, B, will cost that extra money in fuel, but also cost the extra money in the congestion charge that you get charged for going in central London, but also I would get charged for the extra parking. So not worth it. Um, I only use my car to go around the outside of London or completely outside of London and across England. Gridlock. Ridiculous. That looks like a fun establishment. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that was quite a few different days there, but um, some of you enjoyed the longer vlogs, so I decided to make this extra long rather than dividing it into two shorter videos. So I hope that's okay with you. Don't forget, I also have memberships on this channel. So if you want to become a member and get members only live streams and members only exclusive videos, where I'm a lot more honest and open about my life and things going on, then you can do that. You can click join next to subscribe and you'll get all the options there. You can cancel after one month if you just want to watch, binge watch all the content and then get out of there but my favorite members obviously are the ones that can stick around um but yeah that's there please subscribe if you're new here i post videos every single week and i'll see you next time bye